So, today we have a sh short video discussion for this question. So, all are seen with tumor lysis syndrome except this is a very important question which has been asked so many times in so many exams so frequently. So, the given options are hyperkalemia, hyperphosphatemia, hypercalcemia, hypocalcemia. So, let us look at this question. So, if I give you the answer, you need to know the logic. So, let us see what is tumor lysis syndrome. So, when we are talking about tumor lysis syndrome, let me teach you people about the tumor lysis syndrome very fastly, then you will be able to solve the question. So, tumor lysis syndrome is nothing but it is a condition caused by the treatment of any tumor. Matla means there is a tumor, we treat the patient with chemotherapeutic agent. After we treat the patient with the chemotherapeutic agent, so what is going to happen? There is some metabolic disturbances. There is some metabolic disturbances. So, if there is some metabolic disturbances, so what type of metabolic disturbances? So, basically that is caused by, caused by what? Tumor lysis. So, caused by breakdown of the tumor means what? So, basically you are going to give the chemotherapy. As soon as you give the chemotherapy, chemotherapy will kill the tumor cells. As soon as tumor cells are killed, so what that the intracellular contents are being released means what? Consider this is a many tumor cells. You give the chemotherapy. As soon as you give the chemotherapy, what is going to happen? That will break the tumor cells. All of the contents are, which are present inside the tumor cells are being released. Released into where? Into the bloodstream. Into where? Into the bloodstream. So, metabolic disturbances caused by release of intracellular fluid contents of tumor. Intracellular fluid contents of tumor cells into the bloodstream, into the bloodstream. So basically what into the bloodstream, so what exactly happened is very easy to understand. We have a patient, we give the chemotherapy. As soon as we give the chemotherapy, chemotherapy kills the tumor cells. Tumor cells uh, kill ho gaya, that means killing of tumor cells occurred. Immediately what is going to happen? Release of intracellular fluid contents into the bloodstream. Whatever contents which are present inside the cell are being released. So, what are the contents which are present inside the cell? So, that is your potassium. So, if potassium is from the cell is released into the into the bloodstream that will lead to hyperkalemia. Very good. So, intracellular fluid is rich with potassium that is released into the bloodstream leading to hyperkalemia. Mm -hmm. Along with hyperkalemia that will also lead to release of what is that a phosphate ions. What is that? phosphate ions from the cell into the blood. So, that will lead to hyperphosphatemia, hyperphosphatemia. Along with hyperphosphatemia, now think about this guys. So, phosphate is nothing but that's your basically your PO4. Now, PO4 whatever is released, it is going to chelate the calcium. It is going to what? Chelate the calcium means, so this is your blood vessel, alright. Inside your blood vessel there was calcium. Now what happened? Lots of phosphate came. Now this lots of phosphate is going to neutralize calcium. So if calcium is neutralized, what happens to free calcium? Of course, that will be decreased leading to hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia. Okay. Along with hypocalcemia, all the metabolic products such as urea which is present inside the tumor cell will also be released into the bloodstream leading to what? Hyperuricemia. Hyperuricemia. So, these are the characteristics of what? Tumor lysis syndrome. So, what is the question? All of the following are seen in tumor lysis syndrome except. So, hyperkalemia will be seen of course. Hyperphosphatemia will be seen of course. Hyperphosphatemia will lead to hypocalcemia. So, hypocalcemia will also be seen. The correct answer will be your hypercalcemia. What is not seen? So, all of the following are seen except that means which is not seen? Hypercalcemia is not seen with the tumor lysis syndrome. Thank you.